Here's a really quick Deneb tip. I hope you find it is potentially useful as I do. So reports, drill throughs are really helpful. We know this. However, there's sometimes an issue with the user knowing they can't drill through. This has kind of been improved recently with this new tooltip. As you see, you hover over and then it says drill through and then the page to which you drill through to when that functionality is possible. There's also another way of doing that where you can click on the value and then navigate to the drill through page using a button. I really don't like this way of drilling through because it takes the space on the page and you have to first click to actually allow that to be, to be possible, allow that functionality to be possible. Um, I don't think it's user friendly, don't like it. An issue, however, with the good way is that if you're using a custom tooltip, you lose the very functionality that allows you to drill through. So as you see with the standard tooltip, it works perfectly. But if I now add to that a custom tooltip, I hover over and then you'll see that I have my custom tooltip and I no longer have this option, which drops down drill through. It's completely gone, which is really unfortunate because it's a great way of drilling through. You can still right click to drill through. That's always there. However, if the user doesn't know they can drill through, why would they right click? They could right click to, to test to see if it's possible. But then what you're doing is you're asking them to right click on every single visualization just in case you can drill through. So there's a bit of, there's something missing there. What if we could show to the user that they could drill through just by using the cursor. That's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna add a little line here, just cursor and then the word crosshair. When I then apply those changes and go back, you see that my cursor now looks like a crosshair. So my thinking is here, if we say on a report every single time a cursor looks like a crosshair, you know the drill through function is available. So if the cursor looks like a normal cursor, there's no drill through. If the cursor looks like a crosshair, then you can drill through. And it's not just crosshair, there's all these different options you can choose from. Um, I'll provide the link so you can have a look for yourself. This alias for me is quite a nice option because it has this arrow like coming off, which indicates something more. But again, you can use you can communicate this information to the user quite easily. Um, so they know that every time a certain cursor appears, you know you can drill through, which is great for a situation when you have a custom tooltip where this option doesn't just appear on the drop down of a tooltip. It also means you don't have to use the buttons, which again, I don't like because drill throughs are really important, but sometimes they're just a little bit clumsy when it comes to the navigation. Very quick tip. I hope that helped. Let me know what you think about it in the comments or any other potential things we could use this for. And uh, yeah, hope you liked it. Do all the usual YouTube stuff. Click like, click subscribe. That's always much appreciated. Um, thank you very much and goodbye.